Welcome to Mark of a Ninja. So I'm Damon Fuxa, and this is basically a stealth game that uh, is pretty renowned for being a really good stealth game. So I figured I'd basically jump into it. So I haven't played this yet. I have no idea what to be, what to expect. I've seen a few like you know gameplay videos of it, but well, let's just jump in and see how we do. Ink and Dreams. You wake to the sound of bell and gunfire. You must save Azai. Mark of the Ninja. Hey, you. Don't you hear the bell? I'm All right, here to what's help up? you. Rule number one, don't get me killed. Alright, so I move with WASD. My objective is to follow Aura. Alright, so design commentary. Welcome to Mark of a Ninja Special Edition. Throughout the levels, you find small bits of commentary about the game. We want to offer a behind the scenes look at how the game ca came together, why certain decisions were made, antidotes, and basically whatever else we thought might be interesting. Designers, programmers, artists, audio all chimed in on their part in creating Mark of a Ninja. Interact with these objects in the level to access each bit of commentary. The commentary can be turned on or off entirely in the options menu, and you can read any of the commentary via the pause menu. There's a pause menu? That's good now. If you haven't played the game yet, there may be spoilers among the various comments, so proceed with caution if that's something you're concerned about. Otherwise, hopefully there are some things of interest in here, and thank you for playing our game. Nels Anderson, lead designer. Alright, so programming commentary. The bell is one of the first things you hear or see in the game and has posed some unique challenges due to its location. This was one of only a couple locations where we want you to be able to see and hear through a wall but not allow the player or NPCs to move through it. At first we tried out a variety of ways of faking this like having multiple sound meters that we turned on and off but eventually we add a proper way of marking pieces of the world as transparent or transparent to sounds, mainly to make this bell work the way we want. Invisible in the light, I'm hidden in the dark. This is a stealth game. Wait, where's your sword? Stick to the darkness until you find one. An audio commentary. We went through a lot of voices before we found the right one for Aura. The rest we hit on right away, which included my Canadian sound guard, drawing from the actress we had used in previous games. But Aura took some time. We knew how important she was to the story and how her voice needed to be perfect. From all the addition tapes, Lisa's, Lisa's, Lisa and Be Belly, Lisa and Belly, stood out to everyone, and once we had her in the studio, we knew that was Aura. So apparently, they had some, you know, they went through a lot of trouble to make this game. These guys. Apparently, I can run with shift, that's good to know. And yeah, I can hide behind stuff too. Watch out. 
They're coming this way. Alright, let's hide. You can't kill without your weapons. Okay, keep moving. More of them. Find a place to hide. We'll hide right here. See, this is a game where like you hide behind stuff, do assassination type things. Programming commentary. For almost half of the development of Mark of Ninja, there was actually free movement types, sneaking, walking, and running. Sneaking felt, well, sneakier, but it was either c confusing or was never used by our playtesters. There just wasn't enough difference between sneaking and walking. <clears throat> so we simplified to two, two distinct movements, walking and running. We still have an unused button on a controller for where sneak used to be. So they used to have sneaking, but they took it out because they didn't feel it was needed. Hold up. Run, and they'll be able to hear it. Did you see those banners? We could totally sell them to a gallery, and the blood will make them look even more authentic. Get under that ledge. From there, you can pull yourself up. Alright, so I can like walk and stuff. Grappling hook, cool. Launch your lash on and use the grappling hook. Where's this lead? Design commentary. We were planning to include collectible audio logs in each level, but we wanted to make them short. The game moves quickly and a 30 to 60 second or more stretch of backstory would have felt too long. We came up with the idea of writing the audio logs as haiku, which would be short and also a little um, enamic, giving the player a reason to reread them later on. So the voice of Hisomi. Each level has three scrolls that tell the history of the clan. Recovering them will grant um, that, which can be used to acquire upgrades in between levels, so. A there is history reason to get these. of the Hisomu clan, as written by its masters. Five hundred men lie, vanquished before Tetsuji takes off his blindfold. <clears throat> Interesting. Good thing you were out cold. Looks like they don't know you're alive. Let's keep it that way. Awesome. The sword of uh, Tatsuji. They has only saved their swords until the, they can kill with one strike. The relic of the clan's founder was upheld to tradition for hundreds of years. Now you're ready to kill. The beginning of the kill is like embracing a lover. The end, of course, is not. Now, there's basically different ways of doing this game, by the way. You can be like stealth feel it and like, you know, avoid contact with people and only kill the people you have to. Or you could basically be like ruthless. And uh, yeah, it's actually something you know you can like, you know, look around for stuff. Good All right, so apparently I have to but sort remember, of like, you know, you have to be quick to catch them. I basically have to like, you know, have a direction like to swipe these guys. So that's interesting. 
By the way, I can actually drag these guys down and, like, you know, dispose of them. So that they can't be hit, seen by other guards. There we go. I guess that's hitting anyways, that's fine. Cool, I could hit hide there if I want to. What's this? Checkpoint? Alright, so you can jump through there. Darts! Basic bamboo darts, good for breaking fragile things and causing a distraction. They will not damage enemies, however. Basically, these are useful for, like, you know, breaking, like, lights and such. The ink from your tattoo has honed your senses. Focus your thoughts, and you can freeze time in your mind. Alright, so I can... Alright, so cool. So, kind of like, you know, we're in, um, you know, Gunpoint Arona, I guess, basically have this sort of, like, pause time thing. You can throw your dice at things. Oh, cool. All right, so that's how that works. So, art commentary. I was having difficulty nailing down an ninja's design. We needed something ion iconic, but not traditionally heroic. As his character can take on a variety of moral angles. In the bar one night, I related my frustration to a good friend over a couple of pints, pints and he suggested that I look into traditional tra Japanese tattooing. I remember that as a turning point because I was able to nail the design quickly afterwards and many of our game design and story concepts fell out of it as well. If you need more cover, you could always destroy the lights. But shattering one will make a loud noise. So you basically can do this. So be ready for them to oh. react. I heard something. Need to get that fixed. Hey! <laughs> Run. Well, I did that wrong. So that guy's been alerted, so... It's clear. Also, you don't want to alert people. Because alerting them is bad. Now, there's higher difficulties, and in higher difficulties you only have like 1 HP, so if you get shot, you die. That's just how it works. Too far to get to that. <coughs> well, there we go. That's a peasant step, whatever it works. So, basically, as you can see, basically, you sort of do combat with like your fist before like you draw your sword to finish them off. So, the sword's only used for like you know, killing them when like you're ready to kill them. What are you doing? Were you gonna walk right up and say hi? Grapple into that tree and we can swing over them. So I want to, I can, I can do combat like to kill these guys. Hey, it's a ninja! Someone else! 
just here. Where is, Where is it? Hey. And there we go. Be careful grappling the trees, I guess. Cover, you could always destroy the lights. But shattering one will make a loud noise, so be ready for them to react. Well, let's see if I can do this right this time. Huh? Alright, so if you're not very careful, you have an imperfect kill. So, basically, if like, you just click, 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 you'll, you'll kill him, but it won't be very effective. What are you doing? Were you gonna walk right up and say hi? Grapple into that tree, and we can swing over them. Alright, let's just bypass these guys. You don't have to fight everyone, right? So... Let's go over them. There's a nice little way to kill someone. Alright, these guys will probably, you know, jump down, kill them. Remember that. So there's object kills, cool. And there's a scroll. We snap off a branch to make a weapon. But the tree must bear the wound. All right. So I can't go up that way, that's fine. Hmm. We need to make him look the other way. Is he gone for that? So you can hit gongs, by the way, just to sort of, like, you know, distract enemies. How do I get there? Up closer with a dart. Let's try and get this one little commentary thing over here. That's annoying, you can't really get to that one. Wait, it says there's a pause menu, right? Yeah, right there. Alright, so design commentary. I remember a very specific point in playing the game where I was extremely frustrated at how I could understand when the guys could see or hear me. This was forced me to play only on surface level of understanding where I could only guess at the con consequences of my actions and was unable to plan everything complex. In my mind's eye, I recall a metaphorical switch in my head that made me go on a crusade to clearly delineate everything from sound division cones to what the current guard state is. So stuff I note by the way in this game is that like you know everything has like a cone of effect so this has like a spear of audio sound which basically lets you know like the sound perimeter is such. Um, you can like you know see a vision cones and these guys when they're live, vision cones of lights. Those have like an audio cone. See that door? Don't open it yet. Just lean against it and try to sense what's on the other side. There's a scroll I want to get. I'm not very good at the kills, am I? Oh well. We do not fear death. Our lives are <clears throat> cruel. The clan must always endure. All right. Our commentary. The tiling system we used for the level art allowed us to reuse all the individual pieces we painted over and over again. 
Each chair or dish or plant is a single piece placed in a background, reimagined the wall decor of rooms dozens of times using only the same art pieces to finally test my creativity. Definitely cr test my creativity. Yeah, if I wanted to, I could have just bypassed that guy entirely, but... Whatever, we got the scroll. <clears throat> So, I have to watch out for these, like, crow, crow things, because they basically mean that, you know, crows will pop out of them. And crows can be bad. The tutorial takes place in the hidden Ninja Clan headquarters, but is surrounded by a busy city. I spent about a year and a half living in Tokyo, and my experience with the city definitely affected the way I fought about the Ninja's Clan base. Obviously, Tokyo is really busy. But I found that it was easy to find quiet spaces in the middle of everything if you just knew where to go. There is so much going on there that it is easy to hide stuff in the middle of everything. Alright, so here's this guy. Now, there is ways way like to hang these guys and do other type of kills, but... I suppose I can't hang on the edge here, so I'm just going to check to see if I can. So there's a silent assassin. Oh, I did that wrong. Oh well. Is that by hidden? You get points as you can see for everything you do. You get like points for like, you know. Oh cool, I can probably buys. That's all I wanna do. There we go. <clears throat> But yeah, you get points for everything you do. So this is like you know speed running type of game if you I want to be. I scouted up ahead. They're taking Ninja as hostages, and Master Azai is in trouble. We have to hurry. So you can use the map to find your objectives. Press the tab to view the map now. We have to hurry. Blah blah. So I'm right here. I guess we're going up there. I can zoom up and zoom down. Like the page up and page down here, I guess. I can ring the large johns if I want to. So probably on commentary. The map is all generated from the level itself in order to eliminate the need for artists or designer to hand draw it. But it also looked like a solid color blocks and lines through most of the development. Which nobody was happy with. I was playing Diablo 3 at the time and looking at their map, which is a bit of a hand sketch look, inspired me to work with Jeff to make get our map looking like it was an ink and canvas painting. Good old Diablo 3. Terrible game, but does have good ins insights and such. <clears throat> I know I heard something from over here. I'm not very good at kills. Oh well. See, so yeah, I basically attracted that guy's attention when I hit that gong. I'm gonna move this over here and it'll be hidden. Oh, now I know there's like a blaze in this game. I wonder if I'll get like a double dump or something like that eventually. They caught us by surprise. I'm very noisy. This is the end. Untie that guy. Oh, 
Oops. Hide that body. When this guy walks by, again, I'm gonna basically just grab him. I don't think they can see me here, so... Oops, I guess I can't pull him through here. So I guess you have to sort of like, you know, guess what you have to do to get the kill, or else it's imperfect or not. Don't worry about me. Go save Master as I. So you're hanging right there. Did I hear something? I thought I heard something coming from here. That worked out well. We killed as many as we could, but they overwhelmed us. Well, I rescue all the ninjas. I think I heard something. Hello? Well, there's a guy right there, apparently. That's weird. Nothing. I was gonna kill this guy for the sake of it. Hey, I got see him. you. Run. Well, that worked. So you don't want to be detected, obviously, but whatever. I'm just trying to like you know show off killing and such. That's what happens when bonds are hidden, they'll you know, be detected by guys. He's obviously bad. Hmm. Can I get up to that platform up there, I wonder? Don't know if I can. Let's go search over here. This is the first level, is pretty big, and I think this is something good about this game. It's got some fairly big, like, you know, decor and such. Multiple ways of basically approaching the game. Multiple ways of killing things. Well, I got the seal completed for whatever that was. Now, I could kill this guy, but I think this guy might be able to see it, so... Well, that didn't work quite very well. So they see you, they'll, they'll basically detect you if you, like, you know, aren't quick about it. So watch out for that, I guess. Hey, there he is. Damn it, I lost him. Oh, my dad is down there. Shit, where'd he go? Oh, nice, air combos. <laughs> Oh, there we go, we finally killed him. 
Cool, I got an artifact. You'll send a target over here. Yes, there's many, many ways of playing this game. That's basically why I would play this game, right? Because it has all these like different things you can do. There's an artifact recovered. I'm sure these points will um, delve into something later on. It'll be nice when I have lots of different types of kills too. So he's dead. This leads over here. Now, I don't plan to get all the artifacts possibly, but whatever. You picked the wrong guys to rob, Sensei. It's time for the old man to retire, boys. They gotta rescue him. That worked out well. For centuries we have stayed hidden. We shunned the modern world and its jackals. But today, our enemies have found us. We must strike back. We will fight for our survival and our honor. I foresaw this day would come. And so, I called upon a champion to fight for us. He has accepted the first mark. He will defend the clan at a terrible cost. Alright, so basically when you get to the end of this, you have like, you know, sort of like, you know, a breakdown of what happened. Basically, who, um, who, um, how do you remain up for undetected? Basically, who saw you, who didn't? Uh, who distracted, who basically, um, saw you, but, um, you know, I guess, like, if, if they see you, then, like, you know, the, the alarm gets raised, and then who you killed. You get points, by the way, if no alarms are raised and no enemies are killed, as you can see, and there is, I think, achievements if you do that, but we're not going to worry about that. So, if I save a side without being detected, I get sealed for that, apparently. So, if I go back, I get the seal. I might do that just to sort of get, like, my unlocks and stuff. So total honor seven nine. I think I missed something here as well. So it's, I guess like score also factors into like how much you like you get your like your seals and such. Use the breathing techniques I taught you. They will ease the pain. Let me tell you the story of the ink and of the champions who came before you. Before the restoration, as the other clans strayed and disbanded, a merchant sold us a secret. He led us to a flower whose petals burned with toxin. Put the toxins in your skin, and you will gain great and strange powers. But those powers will drag you into madness. That is why every champion vows to end his own life before he destroys himself. And the clan swore to protest. We must act quickly. Count Karajan is the head of Hessian services. He is responsible for the attack on our clan. His tower stands behind ring upon ring of security. You must kill him before he can attack again. Alright, well this seems like a good stopping point. I'll basically get back to this when we basically jump into it, but for now, hope you guys enjoyed thus far. And take care.